guys coaching levels and in today's video got another topic for you guys definitely going to be an interesting one hope you guys can sit around and enjoy this one the topic is favoritism in basketball now favoritism can be a positive thing or a negative thing and i think this kind of mainly applies to coaches because i have seen favoritism used in a good way and i've also seen it used in a bad way i do think that is I wouldn't say it's necessary to have as a coach, you know, but also it's good to have and it's good to see that, you know, you have favourites. There's nothing wrong with having favourites in basketball at all, having favourite players, favourite teams, whatever the case may be. But when you do favouritise a lot of people or certain people, you do tend to be biased. And I think that's where the problem is with uh, sometimes in basketball coaching is that you have, let's say, three players who are outstanding but then you have the rest of the team who are not exactly up to par, but their attitude is right and they want to learn more, they want to progress and be where those three star players are potentially. So I do think that um, a lot of it is down to neglection. And of course, as coaches, we should try and treat everybody the same. Of course, we're going to have favorites, there's nothing wrong with that, as I said before, but we should also remember that, is that neglection can cause uh, a really bad process, a learning process for a lot of players as well. With this trait, favoritism can hinder a player's learning process and development. Because if you're not focusing in on everybody, then you're going to be focusing on just the main players who are really good. Those players are really good. You know, of course, teach them some advanced drills and whatnot. But teach them, but teach the other players what drills that got these best players to where they are now. You know, because everybody starts from somewhere and not everybody's going to be the best when they pick up a basketball. So you have to understand that development is such, an, such a key thing in a player's aspect of training. And of course, as a player, if you feel uncomfortable about this, you should discuss this with your coach. You shouldn't be, you know, if your coach is understanding, you should be able to understand, come, come to an agreement and, and talk and whatnot. And of course, if you have the right attitude, maybe you'll be like, okay, I'll change my views on how I do certain things, you know. Because, I, again, we are here, players are here to challenge the coaches, coaches are there to challenge the players. It's not, it's vice versa, it's not one, one, one way or the other way. And I think, um, in most cases, it could be the coach's way or no way. And I think that's not really fair or even gonna do anything to help your team as a whole, you know. So definitely, communication between the player and the coaches in terms of this trait is definitely important discussion is a big thing now i think um particular things for example that can uh you know stop basically not so much stop favoritism but can make favoritism favoritism even worse than what it is is having private sessions with you know the best players on the team or maybe the starting five for example and you know you'll, you'll get your as a coach you're just training them you know, but then also, what about the players who are not as developed? You know, why are they not getting a private session to help? You know what I'm saying? Also, what about getting you know the best players on the team to encourage the less developed players to boost morale, motivation, and, tra and training tips and whatnot? Then that way, it's a better team morale. Everybody's working harder together, and that's the whole point of basketball. I mean, of course, you know, everybody does that to do certain things individually and whatnot, but as a team especially under the coach's manner, this is where it all lines up with now. And again, you know, a favoritism isn't a bad thing. We all do it as human beings, but in basketball or in any sport, it's definitely a thing that can be turned negative when it should be, you know, positive. You know, there is such a thing called as positive reinforcement. Last but not least, um, I also think that as a player, especially players, um, this can be based on your attitude as well. So if your attitude is good in the in the practice facility and you're training the right way, you may not be uh, getting to where you want to get to and the coach sees that, then you can also become a favorite that way, you know? Having a good attitude is why I think a lot of people get, get favoritized. You know, if you have a good attitude and you're one of the best players on the team, of course, you know, the coach is always gonna you know, pick you first or whatever, but whatnot. But if your attitude's bad, on both, whether you're a, whether you're the best player or whether you're, whether you're you know not so much the worst player, but like a player who's not as developed, 
if your attitude is bad, then you can expect why favoritism isn't gonna work for you or, or how it's not gonna benefit you. So again, um, you know, to coaches as well, there's nothing wrong with it. Again, there's nothing wrong, I've said it so many times, but it's just the way you use it, the way we utilize it. And I think as coaches, as players as well, we need to have a discussion. If there are some things wrong due to favoritism, we need to have that discussion, play it to coaches. And we will have to learn to say, you know what, we can't be defensive. We have to be open and honest and, and say, yeah, coach, this is the reason why the favoritism is kind of like wrong. Or this is the reason why I'm favoriting these type of players from, from the coach's aspect, you know? So again, discussion. Have a talk with your coach, guys. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video guys. If you do like the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe and I will see you for the next one.